I think basically everyone on earth has Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, hats off to you, but I feel like all of us do. Now, if you want to add that to your Squarespace website, it is super easy to do, but I don't see that many people taking advantage of it. So I'm going to show you where it is and then how to connect your Instagram and then how to have it automatically populate on a feed on your Squarespace website. What we need to do is go onto the page that we want to add the integration to. So for me, it's going to be on the contact page. We'll go into website and we'll find whatever page we want to put it on. So I've got contact in here. We'll click on edit and then we want to add a block. So I've got a classic editor section here. So to add our Instagram feed in, we'd click plus and then we want to add Instagram. So we can either search for it here or we can scroll down and find it here. So I'm going to click on Instagram and then I've already got my account connected. But if we want to reconnect it, we would just click on this, click add an account and it's going to connect us to our social. So we click on the OK and then it's going to ping us over to Instagram. It's going to ask us to connect. So you previously connected, blah, blah, blah. It's just going to ask you, you know, do you want to connect for the first time, basically? So click allow. It's going to confirm. It's going to ping us back over. It's going to give us a little connected bit there. And then it's going to load our photos up here. Then you can see, obviously, it doesn't look great, but it has loaded up. So I want to move this down. So I'm going to drag it down to where it needs to be. And then, OK, it looks OK. But ideally, I want to put this in a fluid engine section because I want, in, in this case anyway, I want the Instagram connection to, or Instagram feed to span the whole section, like the width of the page. So I'm going to create a new section down here by duplicating this. And then I'm going to upgrade the section to fluid engine. So now we have our Instagram feed here and I can customize it. So if I double click, I can click on design and then I can change this to either, you know, carousel, in all honesty, it doesn't look great. Slideshow, grid, or stacked. I always really go with grid. And then we can select our aspect ratio. So we can make them landscape. We can make them portrait. I usually just go with square. But in this instance, I'm going to go with vertical. Then I'm going to put six on a line. And then I'm going to put the padding to zero. Now, what we want to do, because we have six on a line, this looks really weird. I want to keep it to one line. So what we need to do is... At the moment, it's on 10. We want to take it down to six, so it just spans one line. We're going to double click. Then we're going to just bring this down to six. And then you can see our feed is looking better. Now I'm going to drag this to the side, and then I'll drag this to this side. Then we hit save, exit, and then if we blow this up. We can see, you know, that's how it was. Now that just looks much nicer. And you can stick that above your footers, wherever you want on the site. And you can actually put it in your footer if you wanted. So you can just add your block move it to the side, move it to the side, and then it'll be on the footer of every page. But anyway, that's how you add the feed. Say, let's say you want to click through. So I'd click through to this, and then it would take me to Instagram. Well, it would take me to this sort of midway page. And then you can see view more on Instagram, and it's going to take the user to my page. If you want to follow me, SJ Crawford, posting tons of reels about Squarespace education over on Insta as well, so shameless plug. But anyway, that is how you add your Instagram feed to your Squarespace website. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.